You've got it all wrong. You got it all messed up. Networking is for everyone. Networking is for anybody who wants to become successful. Networking is for anybody that wants to expand or grow in the financial world and in the business world and in your personal life. Hi, welcome to Quiet Minds YouTube channel. My name is Kevin and thank you for coming back for another video. But first, before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that comment button. Stay tuned for more videos. All right, we're back with another video, Quiet Minds YouTube channel, and today's topic is about networking, okay? So this video came across my mind earlier this morning when I had went to the gym. It was nine o'clock this morning and I decided to um, go to the gym and work out. Now I work out every morning at the gym, but today was kind of different. Now the reason why I would say it's different for today is because once you start getting in that groove of working out, you begin to start, you know, finding different things out about yourself. And so today's video is about tips, tips and ideas on how networking can one help you, but also help your business and help your personal life. Okay. So the first step before beginning to even getting to the networking field, you have to place yourself in a setting where you can find out who you are as a person. Okay. Now, how do you find out who you are as a person? You got to branch off. You got to cut yourself off from everything around you that is distracting you everything around you that's making a bunch of noise and figure out what do you want to do with your life? That's the first step. Figure out what do you want to do with your life? Okay. The reason it's important to figure out, I guess, what it is, what you want to do with your life is because you have to have a sense of direction. The first question I got to ask you is, do you know where you're going? Do you know where you're going in your life? Do you know the direction you want to go in your life? What have you been through in your life that can, um, I guess, enhance or change different parts? of your life that can help you move in the direction you want to be what have you went through what have you experienced these different things that you go through in life will one figure out will help you figure out which direction you want to go in your life okay so once you figure out the direction you want to go in your life it is then to begin placing yourself in those settings place yourself in those settings where people are like-minded okay once you place yourself in those settings where people are like-minded you'll begin to see how others are carrying themselves. You'll begin to see what others are doing, okay? Now, you got yourself together, you figured out who you are as a person, all right? Now, what's the next step? What is the next step? The next step is to, you figured yourself out, you got yourself together, now what's the next step? The next step is easy. Put together a plan, put together something that you'd like to do in your life. What is something that you've always wanted to do? What is something that can help you bring in income? What is an idea out here that you have about your life where you think if you started or if you begin pursuing this passion, you'll be able to monetize it? What is something that you believe that you can do in that space, okay? So, for example, I figured out who I was as a person. I figured out the direction I wanna go in my life. I figured out what type of person I wanna become in the future. So what I've done is I took up a CrossFit class. Now, what did this CrossFit class bring me? It brought about a lot of different things. It brought about a lot of different different experiences, okay? So I placed myself around these like-minded people who, one, are in better shape than I am, two, who are stronger than I am, two, more consistent, more structured, more disciplined. There are a lot of things that you can gain from being around like-minded people or people who are better than you in a setting or a situation, okay? So I place myself around these groups of people. I place myself in these environments, in these structures, in these settings. Let's take it back a little bit why it's important to place yourself in these proper settings and structures, okay? Now, picture where you grew up. Picture the places and the environments you were starting off when you didn't really know who you were as a person. We're just gonna assume you've already figured out who you are as a person. So what happens after you figure out who you are as a person and what you wanna do with your life? You start removing yourself from these environments you start removing yourself from these cultures you start removing yourself from these things that you were once accustomed to you start removing yourself from relationships and different things that didn't fit you that didn't benefit the direction you wanted to go in for your life 
okay? Now, let me tell you something. Along the way, this is not easy. Along the way, this is some of the hardest things possible because you have the influence of others trying to reel you back in to keep you around, but they're not moving in the same space. They're not moving in the same direction that you are, okay? And it can be very challenging because sometimes there isn't anything bad that can alter the relationship or friendship. You just have to see and have a vision like, yo, where I'm going with my life isn't necessarily where you're trying to go or where you're trying to go or what you're trying to do. And as you learn to cut people off and move forward in your life, it becomes easier and easier and easier, okay? So there's nothing wrong with that. Once you figure out who you are, start placing yourself around these like-minded people, okay? What begins to happen is, you got your background, you got your business, you got your idea, you got your passion that you're pursuing, it's already in place. You've been laying the bricks behind the scenes the whole time. Now, while you're doing that, a part of your day, you're placing yourself around others who are in this like-minded space as you, okay? Or you're placing yourself in a room around others who do other things in their life that enhances their life, okay? Now, I'm not sure if at the CrossFit place, other people are doing YouTube channeling or if they're doing podcasting or anything of that form or of that nature, but I place myself in these environments. I place myself in these rooms. So what happens is because I got the things, I got the resources, I got the things around me, what happens is I place myself in the room and you can just stay quiet, stay quiet. What happens when you place yourself in these other rooms with people who are doing something similar to you or building their life in the direction they want to go, they naturally gravitate towards you. They naturally start coming to you. Hey, what's your name? Hey, where are you from? What do you do with your life? What is it that you're interested in? And now because you have your resources together, you know who you are as a person. You have your background and everything together. This is what I do with my life. I do X, Y, and Z with my life. Okay, now that you can present that to them, these are the steps to networking. And now they're gonna present the things that they do in their life to you. And what happens is you have to be intuitive. That's the next step. Listen to what they're saying. Ask questions about what it is that they do in their life. Because now that you're asking questions about the things they're doing in their life, it shows that you're actually interested. It shows that you're caring about the things that they're saying they're doing in their life. Oh, so you are in real estate. So what about real estate do you like? What are the disadvantages? What are the advantages of it? Okay, so how long did it take you to get started? What type of classes should I be invested in? What type of things should I look out for when out here? Because you're asking these questions, they know that you're interested in what they're doing, but it's more than just picking up resources and knowledge from another person. What you're doing is creating a connection between the two people. When you create a connection between the other person and you, you create a bond, you create something outside of the things that you were talking about. So now these people know when you come around or when they come around, we have something in common, we have something that we can share, we have something that we can talk about, okay? So let's go over the steps. One, you gotta find out who you are as a person, okay? Center yourself, find somewhere where you can go and just center yourself and find out who you are as a person. Two, you gotta remove dead weight. You gotta remove the things around you that aren't trying to build and grow in the direction you're trying to go, okay? That's the second step. Three, build your life, build your resources, build the things in your background so when you step into these places where you can be around others who are like-minded like you, you now have some form of leverage, you now have something around you that others can relate to, others can ask questions about, others can see like, okay, he's building, she's building, he's working, she's working on something big for their life, okay? After you do that, then you place yourself in these settings around people who are like-minded to you, who are like-minded like you, who are better at the things you're doing, who are at a spot where you're trying to reach. Now, some of these steps you can skip and you can place yourself in other settings. Hey, you can go into a setting where people are better than you at something. You'll realize, okay, this is what I want to do. Or you might realize this is not what I want to do. But either way, you got to put these steps together so you can start forming an idea and an opinion about your life. So you'll move in the direction where your life wants to go. And then ultimately, you're going to reap the success. You're going to reap the benefits from everything in your life. You're going to move in that direction of your life where everything is just flowing. Everything is structured. Everything is going the way it's supposed to go. Okay. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. You know, now we are moving in like this fast paced world. If you're living in a city, it's very fast paced. Okay. You're, you're living in a city is very, 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 very fast paced, okay? 
very fast paced. In today's competitive, fast paced world, building strong relationships is way more important than ever, okay? Whether it's personal or professional, it doesn't matter what it is, building those genuine connections is very important for success in your life, success in your mental, success in your spirit, success in your financials. You have to go out here and network. You have to build with people around you. You have to grow with people around you who are in a like-minded setting or who are in a business setting, who are in a professional successful setting, who have more resources than you, who have more success, who have more finances than you. And the more you do it, the easier it will become. But along the way, there are going to be some pots, some sections, some spaces, some areas in your life where it's going to be difficult to move on. It's going to be difficult to catch yourself. It's going to be difficult to like, I guess, adjust. And sometimes these feelings, these emotions that you go through is very uncomfortable. But you got to do what's best for your life. You got to do what's best for you and move in that direction or the space that benefits you, that helps you that progresses your life, that progresses your finances, that progresses your mental, okay? That progresses your networking skills, your connection, okay? You have to do these things, all right? What else? Actively investing your time and building relationships, you can unlock a platform of opportunities, but you will never get there unless you place yourself in these rooms where you are uncomfortable, okay? These relationships open doors, they provide value, they offer support and guidance when you need it the most. So let's say you're looking for an opportunity. I had a lady uh, talk to me earlier today in the gym and she was explaining how, hey, I hear you're a bartender. XYZ owns several restaurants where you can place yourself in these restaurants as a bartender and it actually increases your pay. These are high-end restaurants, okay? now. How would I have ever known that if I wouldn't have started going to the gym, if I wouldn't have been consistent going to the gym, if I wouldn't have had the structure and discipline to stay going at the same time throughout the months, okay? So you gotta, it places yourself in these rooms also creates a structure and a discipline. You get a structure and discipline from being around people who want success. You get a structure and discipline around the people who want to succeed, who want to thrive, who want to grow, who want to prosper. But don't assume that these things are just gonna come to you. You gotta work at them every day, okay? Placing yourself in these settings, yes, it starts there. But make sure you know what you're talking about when you get into these spaces in these rooms. How do you do that? You gotta pick up books. You gotta pick up books. You gotta pick up books. You gotta feed your mind the right things daily. You gotta feed your mind the right things daily to progress and to succeed in this space. That's the only way. I hit the desk a little bit. That's the only way to progress. That's the only way to succeed. So what is it that you're gonna do? What is it that you're gonna do to succeed, okay? Networking is not just reserved for like formal events. It's not just a thing where, okay, I'm gonna schedule this appointment and go to this um, conference center, this conference room at a hotel or something to network. Networking happens around you every day, all day. Once you change your mindset, once you change the way you portray the world, others will receive you that way, okay? What do I mean by that? Every job is a networking area. Place yourself in fast paced, high end places where people are constantly going in and out. Retail stores, grocery stores, um, restaurants, places where you can interact with a bunch of people. I grew my YouTube channel to 125 subscribers just from telling people every day, hey, I got a YouTube channel, business card. Hey, I got a YouTube channel, business card. Hey, I got a YouTube channel. Write it down on a piece of paper. Hey, I got a YouTube channel. Oh, let me hold your phone. Here, all right, you go here, subscribe, like, this is literally what networking is. People take an interest in who you are as a personal person, like your character. For me, yo, you're so chill, you're so quiet. What got you to be so laid back with that demeanor? I go into my past story about what happened and why I'm here and what caused, what the, the causes that, the things that came from it, okay? And what came from that? A YouTube channel. I learned how to read. I learned how to write better. I learned how to invest in different things that helped my life later on, okay? Those same things can happen to you too. Those same things will happen for you. You just gotta make sure you're doing the right things along the way. Follow those steps. Change your uh, environment. Figure out who you are as a person. We swap those. Figure out who you are as a person. Change your environment. Remove dead weight. Get those people away from you. Third, place yourself in these settings after you've got something about yourself going good. So now you have something to talk about in these rooms. Then you gotta educate yourself. Stay educated so you know 
what it is that you're talking about once you place yourself in these rooms. You have to stay educating yourself. Education doesn't stop once you graduate high school. Education doesn't stop just because you dropped out of high school. Education doesn't stop because you didn't go to college or you dropped out of college or you graduated college. Education continuously is continuous. You're gonna keep learning, you're gonna keep growing, you're gonna keep progressing, okay? You can forever keep learning something. The world changes every day and so should you. You should be growing and moving with the times. Okay. It's also important, like that comes back to the relationships and network building. It's a two way street. Okay. It's a two way street. You offer your help, you offer your knowledge, you offer your resources, your support to others. And in return, they can do the same thing. But also remember, just because you offer something to somebody doesn't mean they have to give it back to you. It doesn't work like that here in the world. For example, you can give somebody a hundred dollars. They pay you back. Fast forward in the future, you might need $100 from them and they won't give it to you. And you go on this rant and tear about how they didn't do this or do that for you. You got to know how to do these things out of the goodness or the kindness of your heart, okay? Don't do things with something like for something in return. It won't be pure. Okay, so overall, really, success is not based on your individual skills or achievements. It's like a... Um, like a partnership it's like a relationship it's like a it's like a group effort it's like a group project you have to network this is how you grow and build your image your brand you got to place yourself around people who are doing the same things as you okay quiet minds youtube channel like comment and subscribe check out more videos on the youtube channel and look out for more content